Hello, and thanks for taking the time to view this video on our new Mid-Cycle XF and 21 Modular XE, which have just been revealed. Last year, XE had its significant Mid-Cycle refresh. So 21 Modular for XE is the debut of PIVI Pro and some seat changes, as well as the introduction of MHEV technology on the new D204 engine. XF21 Modlier, however, is a major exterior and interior refresh with new PV Pro technology and the introduction of the new MHEV D204 engine. XF's refresh in scale is very similar to F-Pace 21 Modlier, which we revealed a couple of weeks ago. The new XF benefits from a significant level of exterior change. The front bumper has been updated to provide more visual width, including a larger, wider grille and larger lower vents with finisher hoops surrounding them. At the rear, a new rear bumper has also been designed to provide more visual width. This improves the vehicle stance and makes it appear more grounded on the road. Exhaust pipes are now concealed behind the bumper on all variants, giving a clean and consistent finish to the rear of the car. The 21 Modlier XF gets new all LED headlights with signature daylight running lamps as standard and pixel LEDs as an option. The headlights are now 10 millimeters narrower, giving more visual width to the front of the car and are fitted with a new double J LED signature. There is also an updated rationalized wheel lineup, including three new wheel styles, two of which come in two finishes, and a revised paint palette, all of which combined to deliver a sporting and dynamic look. Interior upgrades include leather-wrapped surfaces, real wood open pore veneers, a new switch pack, all new seating, and a new drive selector to replace the rotary shifter. These changes address customer feedback we'd had from some original XF owners that the second generation car had perhaps lost a little of its sense of occasion when sitting in the cabin. Importantly, at 21 Modlier, the XF has become a more desirable and luxurious car right across the range. The entry car starts on 18 inch wheels, has connected navigation as standard, and on the diesel, we jump from 163 PS to 204 PS with the addition of mild hybrid technology for benefits in both fuel economy and emissions. Electric seat adjustment is standard on every car with new premium LED headlamps, powered boot lid or tailgate on the sport brake, along with a new larger curved 11.6 inch touchscreen, which is beautifully incorporated into the dashboard. These upgrades have been well received by the press already and also by our residual value setters who have given the vehicle the uplift it deserves. Both the XE and XF ranges have been significantly rationalized to simplify the lineup for the customer and reduce manufacturing complexity. Already at 20 model year, XE had its lineup reduced from 48 to 24 derivatives. And for 21 model year, we've reduced this further by 46% to just 13 derivatives. For XF, the range reduces from 64 to 28 derivatives, a reduction of 56%. The rationalization on XE means that we offer just the core S model and then move customers to the more profitable R dynamic with the choice of S, SE and HSE derivatives or a limited edition R dynamic black model. On XF Saloon, we also offer the core S variant and again move customers to R dynamic S, SE or HSE. On Sport Brake, we offer the core SE variant and our Dynamic S, SE and HSE. This range rationalization leads me on to the most significant action we've taken at 21 Modlia for both XE and XF, and that's our new take to market strategy, which has resulted in significant visual OTR price reductions. So please listen carefully now to what Scott will take you through. And thanks very much for your attention and all the best for a successful launch of these two class-leading products. Thank you.
Thanks, Anthony, and what a fantastic refresh for XF. Since the start of the year, we have taken a detailed internal review of XE and XF to identify how we can give these vehicles a boost in the market, particularly given the competitive nature of the saloon market. We know that XE and XF trade in one of the most competitive market segments, and often there is a significant disparity between the advertised price and the price ultimately transacted. We are trying to make the process simpler for the customer to ensure that they have a better understanding of how much they will pay for the vehicle earlier in the purchase process. And we hope in doing so that this will generate more interests and leads. To this end, we have adjusted the MSRP to be more reflective of the transaction price and reflective of the discounts that would typically be offered to a customer. For the customer, the enhanced new XE and XF ranges have been streamlined to focus on the most popular features. This will also make it easier to order via our Jaguar online demand platform at their local retailer. Customers can simply browse, build and order online via their nearest retailer with the reassurance that they have the choice of the best specifications at a good value price, however they choose to purchase. Aligned to the reduced MSRP, this has allowed us to reduce our variable marketing expense centrally and remove some retailer margin. The range rationalization and reduced complexity allow us to revise the pricing as you can see here. Our entry price for XF is now 32585 for the core S and for the XE we start at 29635. This means that on an entry XE and XF without options you will be earning around about £1,500 gross profit per sale. Our customer facing finance offers have also been adjusted to reflect the new pricing structure, which for retailer customers includes removal of our finance deposit allowances. But importantly, this does not worsen our competitive positioning versus the outgoing 20 model year propositions. Please refer to the quarterly promotions bulletin for further information and consider how you can maximize the opportunity for these two models in your local market area. It's really important that the revised pricing only applies to new orders placed for 21 model year. Due to our recent sales success and your continued focus, thankfully, we have relatively few prior model year vehicles left in our network stock. But we will ensure that these vehicles remain competitive versus the 21 model year cars, but hope that we should have successfully sold all of these cars prior to the 21 model year deliveries. I want to make it clear that this approach only applies to XE and XF, given the competitive nature of the segment that they sell in. We've worked hard with sales and marketing panel and the retail board to ensure that you understand our reasons for doing this. And we have a Q&A for the media briefing. So in summary, we need to be prepared for new customer inquiries in your showrooms from online or walk-ins and for your sales team to know the new pricing. Customers will appreciate the simplification of the buying process with thanks to the reduced MSRP and revised simple lineup. This will likely change the sales process that you have had previously on XE and XF. Please make sure that your teams explain the new product lineup and use the opportunity to walk customers up to the more profitable R dynamic derivatives and options choices. This is a really exciting new take to market approach for the new XF and XE21 model year. And we are confident that the product actions and new pricing structure will be a very compelling offer for your customers. Thanks for watching and for your ongoing support and please work with your RPM in the days and weeks ahead. Make sure you refer to our media Q&A to respond to customers' questions and the Are You Ready communication for all of the relevant product detail. Together, we can make the most of this new digital online world and capitalize on the opportunities with this new approach. Thank you.